Welcome to Health Talks. I'm Gail Hogan, and today we're talking about an advanced cancer treatment called proton therapy. Dr. Anand Chakravati is here to tell us about what this is and about the James's New Proton Therapy Center, the first of its kind in Central Ohio. Doctor, welcome. This is exciting, the first in Central Ohio. What is proton therapy? Proton therapy is really an innovative type of, of therapy. It's a particle-based therapy in which the particle itself has an uncanny ability to hone in on the tumor without causing any type of normal tissue side effects. Conventional radiation, which is administered with X-ray therapy, has an entrance point and an exit point, and all of the normal tissues in between are often irradiated as collateral damage. With proton therapy, a lot of that collateral damage is avoided. That sounds amazing, and this work will now be done at a specific proton therapy center. Can you explain that? Yes, yes. Um, so uh, together with Nationwide Children's Hospital, the James at Ohio State has launched the very first proton therapy center in central Ohio. So this will serve all of our adult and pediatric cancer patients under one roof. So obviously this is safe for children as well, if it will be used by Nationwide Children's Hospital. Absolutely, absolutely. There are a plethora of pediatric cancer cases that are amenable to proton therapy, including uh, patients with brain tumors, spinal cord tumors, as well as patients with tumors in the extremities, abdominal organs, down the list. So this is going to have a wide-ranging impact in the setting of pediatrics. But even beyond that, even for adult patients with uh, recurrent cancers in which there are very few remaining therapeutic options for adult patients with uh, tumors of the head and neck and central nervous system region, this is going to be a game changer for many of these patients. It sounds like there is a wide range of cancer patients that would qualify or that this would work for them. Absolutely, absolutely. Since this technology reduces um, the treatment volume and really restricts it to the tumor itself versus surrounding normal tissues. This is even safer than conventional radiation treatment delivered with x-rays. Is it considered radiation? It is radiation. Proton therapy is a form of radiation for sure. But without some of the other issues. That without some of the baggage. <laughs> without right. some of the baggage. That's yes. a good way to put yes. it. Um, when you describe some of the candidates who are good candidates, patients, good candidates for this, can you give me a list of some of those who would be a good candidate for this? It'd be my pleasure, Gail. Uh, definitely, there's a wide range of pediatric patients who would be excellent candidates for proton therapy. Uh, pediatric patients with devastating brain tumors and spinal cord tumors would be very amenable to proton therapy. There are pediatric patients with uh, cancers of the uh, extremities who would also be great candidates. And there are also pediatric uh, cancer patients with recurrent cancers, likewise, that would be excellent candidates for proton therapy. Many of these patients have few other options remaining. Would then this be the first thing some folks turn to, or is this sort of a last resort type cancer treatment? The answer is all of the above. Okay. So there are certain types of pediatric and adult cancers for which there is class one evidence for protons. So protons are the treatment of choice. There are other adult and pediatric cancers that, um, as I described before, these are recurrent cases. These are recalcitrant to, um, let me say that again. These are recalcitrant to um, existing therapeutics. These patients have few other treatment options. And protons, in many cases, can safely and effectively treat these most aggressive types of cancers. You've been working on this for a long time. <laughs> yes. It's amazing yes. to me how long some of this research goes on. Yes. What do you consider so innovative about it? There are several aspects of this particular technology which are very innovative. And I should mention, Gail, that um, our unit is called uh, the ProBeam multi-room ProBeam 360 solution for proton therapy. This is a technology that we developed with the collaboration of our industry partners, Variant Medical Systems, as well as Siemens Health and Ears, uh, to generate a prototype. So this is the only device of its kind in the entire world right now. What does it mean for your patients? It really means everything for our patients because the patients will benefit from some of these unique 
technological aspects. The first being um, pencil beam scanning and dose painting. So this is a fancy technology which allows us to essentially paint the radiation dose layer by layer within the confines of a patient's tumor while avoiding all surrounding normal tissues. There is a second aspect called rapid scanning in which um, we can treat each treatment field in less than five seconds, which is by far the best uh, technology out there. The third technology that's very unique to this platform is called FLASH. Now by FLASH, I'm referring to ultra high dose rate radiation. Uh, that's often a thousand to 10,000 fold more potent than conventional radiation. So normally a course of proton therapy or even x-ray therapy occurs over a span of six to eight weeks, five days a week. Mm -hmm. With flash therapy, we can reduce this to a single treatment lasting less than a tenth of a second per patient. Can you believe that? No, that's, that is incredible. It's almost science fiction like technology, but these are technologies that we're actively going to investigate. So is the proton therapy available now for patients? Yes, the proton therapy is available now for patients. Can you give me some specifics about what cancer patients would do well with proton therapy? Well, thank you for asking that question. There are actually a plethora of adult cancer patients who would be great candidates for protons. There are adult cancer patients with recurrent cancers for whom there are few effective therapeutic options remaining. And in a good subset of these patients, proton therapy represents an excellent treatment option. Also, there are adult patients with tumors in very anatomically challenging locations, such as those cancers that abut the central nervous system, the mm. brain and spinal cord, other critical structures for which conventional radiation will cause tremendous damage to these critical structures. In these cases, proton therapy can effectively treat these cancers and spare the critical structures from the harmful side effects of radiation. Thank you, doctor. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Health Talks.